Hi everyone, this is John Michael. Oh yeah, it's the return of John Michael. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. So yeah, basically, um, yeah, you know the drill. It's a new episode of Put Power. No, it's Orenda Power. And I'm not satisfied with my aquarium. So yeah, despite the really ridiculous uh, intro of this video, I want to talk about a serious subject. So basically, I'm not satisfied with my aquarium. In the sense that, um, as you know, <laughs> I'm just always changing my mind for the stocking of this video. Uh, not the video, the aquarium, sorry. And one of the reasons why I'm not satisfied with the aquarium in general is um, I'm just going to point the Daniels as the main culprit, but the Daniels are really a great fish, love them. Um, but let me just tell you a bit why I don't enjoy them as much, and I think they have doomed my aquarium. So basically, why did I choose Daniels uh, for being the first fish of phase 2? Well, uh, at the beginning, the main reason why, uh, what, uh, why I choose Daniels instead of other type of fish was because I loved uh, the Zebra Daniels. Zebra Daniels was my uh, favorite Daniel, period, and it still is. But uh, for the first few Daniels that I got, uh, they were like leopard Daniels and longfin leopards. And I was like, okay, I don't like them as much as zebra Daniels, but I see beauty in them. So yeah, all right, they're good. And then I got some zebra Daniels. I got four of them, but sadly my favorite Daniels of them all, which was named Caesar, just disappeared. Probably got uh, jumped out of the aquarium or something. That really made me sad, um, because Caesar was great. Uh, but then I got some new fish. Well, actually, Caesar died after that, but yeah, basically. I got some new uh, dinos, and at one point, I had a big bunch of them, like 12 or 13, I think. Yeah, 13 even. 13 dinos, and some of them were like um, pale. Like that, some of them were like leopard looking, some of them had, well, all the long fin have survived, and there was obviously the good old Daniels. But sadly, the uh, first of all, the diversity of the Daniels have uh, slowly dwindled as uh, some of them got eaten by Mystic Ghost. Yeah, you, you have you have your part in this sad story why I'm not satisfied with the Daniels. That's a part of you. And uh, other Daniels just, as I said, jumped out of the aquarium. Some of my favorite, well, Caesar was my favorite Daniel. And basically, yeah, it, it just sucks. And the more I look at the, da the Daniels, the more I just love the zebra Daniels. And I like, I, I, I won't lie, I like the long fins, but I don't like, you know what I don't like? It's how the leopard Daniels just are brown and they don't have a lot of colors compared to the zebras. Zebras at the very least have that really cool pattern but leopards just are brown. <laughs> and yeah, it's just lacking of colors uh, compared to the zebras, you know? And the first time I got uh, Daniels, what ruined the, the experience was the fact that I had way too much of those little white guys and it was just destroying the effect because I was like, oh, I love the zebras but then I had like too much of the white little trash fish like that and I was like, oh, I don't like the white that much, I just want the zebra and yeah, basically it's just all screwed up and I um, I was much younger back then and much more uh, careless about my fish and yeah 
let's just say that once I was disappointed in the aquarium, I kind of didn't run it as good as I w uh, a good responsible fish keeper is supposed to. So yeah, so that was the first experience with Daniels, and then uh, like a few months ago when I had those Daniels, I was like, all right, well, time to start fresh. And back then, I didn't wanted any uh, colorful fish in the aquarium. I wanted Daniels because I was like, all right, well, they are kind of they have a cool pattern, but they won't distract from the goldfish. Because back then I was really afraid of just putting a fish that would just compete with a goldfish. But as I said in the previous uh, or in the power um, episode, ghost and RP are just so big and so bright in colors that no matter what fish I will train throw in there as long as those fish aren't as big and as orange or yellow colored as ghosts and RP ghosts and RP are pretty much just safe you know no, nothing can compete against them so the zebra daniels are still my favorite and I love daniels don't get me wrong they are great fish but the other reason why I'm not satisfied with them um, and it's kind of stupid but yeah basically they don't swim as much as uh, like in the top column uh, the top section of the aquarium as they used to because right now they are in spawning behaviors and when I introduced the new curry cats in the aquarium I wanted to see like all the aquarium full of fish but the Daniels kept the being around here and the gold barbs keep swimming up to meet the Daniels so that just creates a random mashup of fish that aren't supposed to be in that region of the aquarium the zebras are supposed to be there and the gold barbs are supposed to be getting lower like these guys you know another thing is that Daniels are kind of assholes uh, to be honest and they are super well let me let me just say it back in a better uh, way. But yeah, basically, Daniels, they are um, they are community friendly fish. And they won't bother other fish, but yeah, basically, the uh, the gold barbs really try to get friends, and they see the Daniels as like, oh, they could be good friends with us. But the da the Daniels are just like a strict hierarchy. And they just push everything back. Uh, the alpha is just really mean, <laughs> and they just push the gold barbs. And the gold barbs are really uh, growing into my heart. I love the gold barbs uh, each day that co that comes by. So to see that the dinos just don't want anything to do, to do with the gold barbs, but the gold barbs really wants to spend time with the dinos, it's just frustrating. Um, so, in a way, I'm kind of tired to see like that much brown coloration. And in another, uh, another really stupid reason is the behaviors. Um, I, uh, I don't know how many times I will say it, but I love the behaviors of the gold barbs. You know, they are kind of scavenging. They are kind of always inquisitive, uh, like looking for food and just searching, while the Daniels are just always like fighting almost or chase well not fighting but chasing each other's and it's kind of random to say it but um, fish like Daniels and rainbow fish and everything you know fish are just generally just <laughs> um, it kind of bored me at one point because I uh, it's really hard to explain without uh, sounding really stupid but yeah Gold barbs and tetras uh, and barbs in general are much more interesting because they uh, do stuff other than just chasing around each other's. And back then, when Caesar was around, the Daniels were fun. Sorry about the interruption. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, back when Caesar was uh, in the aquarium, the Daniels were fun watch it was fun to see all the dominance and the like um, 
every every Daniels kind of had a role and everything and kind of a story uh, but at this point um, now that uh, Caesar is gone, now that uh, I kind of grew used to the Daniels, I kind of see all of them as just all the multiple girlfriend of Brutus right here. Brutus is my favorite Daniel, by the way. Um, and yeah, now all the fighting and everything just makes no sense uh, for me. Back then I was like, oh, it's the alpha fighting for uh, dominance and everything. But now it turns out all of those are just females that just want to reproduce with uh, this Daniel first and that's all the behaviors I'm getting it's just like who will get laid first <laughs> it was fun for like six months but uh, I grow old to it and, and used to it as well and yeah another yeah it's not it's not that I don't like the Daniels anymore it's just that um, I don't like the leopard, Dan the le the leopard coloration, and um, I just uh, wish Caesar was still there. So when the leopard Daniel will eventually die, um, I'm going to repl replace them by good old Zebra Daniels. Zebra, Zebra Daniels still interests me quite a lot. I, I like I like this white dude. I'm going to keep it. Marilyn Manson, as I call it. The Pearl Emperor. <laughs> uh, he's cool. He's going to stay. But yeah, for the, the other leopards, uh, I still love them. Uh, I grow attached to them. But uh, in a way, they kind of keep the aquarium and myself uh, to be unsatisfied. The other thing is the gold bars. Love them. I actually bought them to bring colors to like balance between all that brown stuff. I wanted to have something bright in coloration. So I choose a fish with the most colors possible and I wasn't wrong and turns out they have better behaviors than I was expecting so yeah, they're super cool. They are becoming my favorite fish. But the fact is, um, even though they grow up to be uh, way more than uh, the good old just... I brought them to bring colors in the aquarium. And turns out they give me way more than only that. But the fact remain that yellow isn't my <laughs> favorite color. It's just random reason, guys. But... Um, yeah, I love the gold barbs, but I don't think they are sufficient enough to put colors in this aquarium. And now I'm thinking of, hmm, I'm just going to add a big bunch of resboras and then put some oddballs in there and, and, and I will be satisfied. No, I cannot do that and be satisfied. So now I'm just constantly fighting against myself to see which fish I want to put in this aquarium next. And I'm realizing, slowly but surely, that I have multi-tank addiction or I just want a bigger aquarium. Because this aquarium will never be able to truly satisfy me. So remember the video I did about multi-tank addiction? I have it. I, I won't lie. I have it. <laughs> but instead of just uh, getting a new aquarium to get satisfied with another aquarium, I'm just going to build something better with one project and once that project fully satisfy me but I'm still hungry for something new then I will get a new aquarium you see multi-tank addiction should be about that it should be about uh, making each and every aquarium nice and to accomplish a goal into all of them and sometimes just play with fish in a random aquarium. I, I guess I, I just destroyed everything I said in another video. Wow, I'm just... yeah. I'm always fighting with myself, in a way. <laughs> oh, spawning behaviors. Oh, they have stopped. All right. Uh, but yeah, basically, um... Are they going to spawn again?
It was clearly breeding behavior, but yeah. Um, so yeah, the old point of this video, it's, even if it took me like 15 minutes to go to it, is that uh, I guess I will just never be satisfied, so I'm just going to add more and more fish. Uh, I want... It's stupid to say it, but I want cherry barb back. <laughs> I know in the last video I was like, nope, I don't want cherry barb anymore. Anymore, I want like a big school of raspberries and be suffi uh, sufficient with that. No, now I want a lot of small school of fish instead of one big. Um, so yeah, as I said, um, or did I say it? Anyway, I just want a lot of suggestion from all of you so because uh, as you can see I'm clearly not decided yet on what fish to put in this aquarium and at the end of the day I'm going to try to put as much of the fish in the could it work video as possible as long as there is a fish that could work with goldfish I want to explore it so at one point I will need a big aquarium than this this aquarium cannot su suffice me for long term I'm kind of reaching my point here. I'm trying to make it last as long as possible, but I th I believe it have reached its expir expiration date. And yeah, love the Daniels still. Um, just not satisfied with the leopard brownish color. Just grow tired of that brown crap looking coloration. Love the Whoa. Ooh. 360, awesome. I love the pattern. I just don't like the crappy color brown. Hey, how are you? Wait, let me try to zoom. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my main problem. I'm just not satisfied with the colors of the fish and uh, the behaviors in general. I want to see like um, black phantom tetra in there. Like tetras. Tetras are cool. But I don't have tetras. I don't have cool fish in this. I just have like good old pack of normal behaving fish. So instead of uh, being not satisfied with it, I want more. Yeah, it was just retard of a point, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.